everybody. God bless you. And <laughs> let the Lord keep you. I'm going to talk about the, the Samaro mud flow a little more and the effects that I'm seeing over here on the Gulf of Mexico. Let's call it a toxic tsunami bomb. Okay. Over here in the Gulf of Mexico, you, you got other volcanoes going off now. You got mud volcanoes. You got, <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff happening. You got Guatemala going off over here. It, uh, the, this whole area of the earth is starting to widen and expand it and with with this post glacial rebound effect pushing down on these areas now that you got all this water say about I don't know four or five continents worth of water over the last forty years this water is it's going to start coming inbound now and it's already begun it's pushing on all these piping systems underneath the ocean floor that that they have made unstable with all these uh, oil drilling rigs like the Sabaro mud flow which caused a fault zone that's widening all the way from Java, Indonesia down to the coast of Australia and it's a lawsuit so they cover up stuff with that. Anyhow, they have created a new fault. Uh, you got the same back uh, flash type events happening and man once these hurricanes come in and this year you're going to have more hurricanes than you've ever seen you're going to have more water falling inland like crazy it's going to be coming down this way going up this way uh, with all this other guck your your oil and guck that's in this water right now and there's lava volcanoes over here too there's asphalt volcanoes there, there's all kinds of stuff in the piping system under this planet folks Start doing your homework, man. These guys are doing some very seriously bad stuff. Okay, now if this did create a fault zone, which I totally believe it did, there, there's nothing in the evidence that I'm seeing that says it isn't, and it's tearing a new river, which means I would have to place all this area down here under the the 40th parallel as a disaster zone. You might as well just start moving up, as stated in the 2030 report that came out of Washington in 2008, September, just before your stock market crashed. Okay, you getting this? The money knows. Uh, the money knows. They're, they're taking the money out of these places before, you know, major events happen. That's why they're not reinvesting in these areas. They're doing their, their uh, New World Order conference up there in Canada because the, the two places that are going to profit the most from this stuff is Russia and Canada. Uh, you know, and Alaska too. But they've already started putting flags down on the bottom of the Arctic Ocean. Uh, they're, they're, that whole area is going to rebound up. It's going to come up. And looking at all this geo damage around the planet now, from all these oil rig drilling. And man, this stuff can happen very fast. So you're going to see a lot more big earthquakes. Earthquakes in strange areas of volcanoes. Uh, man, it is going to be volcano time. And you're going to see Russia and the United States connect up there because the, that whole area is going to rebound up. Well, now all that pressure is leaving that area. Uh, and it's entering into these Earth's oceans. And the, the Earth's oceans receiving this water. You ain't going to see no flooding. That, that's unbiblical. Okay? What's biblical is the earth is going to receive this water for the woman's sake. And she is. And these polluters will not repent. And they won't. And this Antichrist beast you're up against, this World Bank, and their fragile states are carrying a development protocols where they are just manipulating this whole globe for the greater greed. They could care less about you. You're not. You're not sheep. You're not cattle. You're just zeros and ones. You're just. Uh, you're not even a name. Nothing. Anyway, I love you very much. Study to show yourselves approved. Psalm 104. That's a good one. Uh, thanks, Mr. Guy.